Hi, my name is Moshe Ben Simon and I am the PM for the Forti Deceptor product. This video will cover the new Forti Deceptor detection method for ransomware malware. Ransomware is a form of malware that encrypts a victim files while the attacker then demands ransom from the victim to restore access to the data upon payment. There are a number of vectors ransomware can take to access a computer. One of the most common delivery systems is phishing attacks that use malicious attachment that claim to be a file that should be trusted by the victim. One outcome of using social engineering techniques, again a disrupted and often naive remote workforce, has been an increase in ransomware attacks, which saw a seven-fold increase in the second half of 2020. Enterprises around the world have been reporting on cyber attacks involving ransomware, and this is a trend that is expected to continue across all organization types. Some other and more aggressive forms of ransomware like WannaCry and NotPetya, exploit security holes to infect computers without needing to trick the users. One of the most damaging attacks in the history was the WannaCry ransomware attack, which first appeared in 2017. The virus infected more than 230,000 machines in 150 countries, causing damage of at least $4 billion. Ransomware is constantly being written and tweaked by its developer, so its signatures are often not detected by typical antivirus programs. Ransomware is a big business, with the market adoption of the cryptocurrency coin like Bitcoin. While payment has become easy to get and hard to discover, there is a lot of money in ransomware, and the market expanded rapidly. Ransomware often use sophisticated techniques and tactics to penetrate an organization and compromise an endpoint. But at the end of the day, its primary goal is to encrypt your files. Rather than fighting against this process, what would be happened if instead you redirected the ransomware to encrypt fake files? Files that you intentionally create and placed on the network to entice the attackers. By trying to encrypt these fake files, those hackers will expose themselves and their intention, as well as reveal the existence of their malware before they could do any damage. In other words, an extremely powerful counterattack strategy is to deceive ransomware into running against a fake target of our choosing to trigger an alert and reveal its criminal intention. We can achieve it using cyber deception technology. As you can see in this network diagram, Forti Deceptor starts by setting up and deploying a fake network shared drive across every endpoint and server in your network. In our network diagram, the fake drive is using the letter E. This fake network drive is hidden for legitimate users to avoid their clicking on decoy system and generating false alert. This fake network drive also contains fake files and workflows that exists to expose an attacker or malicious ransomware. This fake network drive is mapped using a network decoy that acts as a fake file server, complete with fake traffic and files. Forti Deceptor also be able to fully integrate it in your third-party security tools, such as your firewall, network access control, and next-gen AV, so that all this identified malicious activity can be quickly mitigated. Once ransomware compromise an endpoint and start to encrypt local and network drive, the decoy that acts as a fake file server can immediately detect this malicious activity and leverage one of your existing security tools to automatically limit or prevent damage by isolating the infected endpoint and immediately protect the rest of the network. Not only does Forti Deceptor technology use ransomware own techniques and tactics against itself to trigger detection, but more important, it's uncovered the attacker tactics, tools, and procedure that led to its successful foothold in the network. So those vulnerabilities can be mitigated at a security architecture level. The integration between Forti Deceptor technology and the Fortinet fabric or third-party tools 
allow us to automate the mitigation response based on a ransomware detection. Let's see a ransomware attack demo against a network that protected by faulty deceptor. In this demo, we will present the faulty deceptor ransomware detection flow by having an endpoint that got infected by a ransomware malware that start to encrypt the infected endpoint files until the detection by the faulty deceptor. The simulation attack will include a threat response mitigation done by leveraging the integration between faulty deceptor and the faulty gate. The first step is to deploy a network decoy that will host the fake files and generate the deception loop that will get installed across all the endpoint and server in the network. As you can see here, we deploy a Linux decoy running a file server and actually have deception loop that you can download and run on the endpoint either directly or through your Active Directory logon script. The second step is to install the deception loop package on the endpoint and verify that we have a fake network drive share map from the endpoint to the network decoy. Keep in mind that the SMB deception loop is an agentless technology. As you can see here, this is the deception loop that we need to install across all the endpoints, again, either directly or over your Active Directory, SCCM, and other distribution tools. After installing the deception loop, we can see that we have a network drive map between the endpoint to the decoy. Now, if we open the My Computer icon, we can see that the user will see just the local disk. The user will not see the fake network drive because the deception lure hide it. But when ransomware run and try to understand the environment, they're looking for local drive and network drive, we can see that in the command line running the command net use, we can see the network drive that get the letter Z that map between the endpoint and the decoy. The third step is to run the ransomware malware on the infected machine and monitor the faulty deceptor detection and mitigation response. For the purpose of this demo, we download ransomware malware randomly from the internet repository to illustrate that faulty deceptor does not require to have any anomaly or signature base engine to detect any ransomware out in the wild. Let's run the ransomware now. We see the ransomware running and less than several seconds, the encryption start. Now, we can see the encryption start and we can see the notification from the attacker that asks us for ransomware in order to decrypt the files. The fourth step is to access the faulty deceptor console and monitor the incident detection alerts and the threat mitigation response that it triggers automatically by the faulty deceptor to isolate the infected machine from the network. Under the incident analysis, we can see the alert that came from the infected machine across the decoys. We can see here all the alerts and we can see the encryption process done by the malware. We see that the malware access all the file on the fake network share and the encryption start. While the encryption start, the faulty deceptor will send an alert, present the alert on the UI, and will mitigate the response using the faulty gate integration. Under the quarantine status, we will see the infected endpoint get quarantined by the faulty gate. The detection flow is from the faulty deceptor to the faulty gate and execute a blocking rule to isolate the endpoint from the network. As we can see from this demo, using deception technology, it's to use the ransomware tactics against him for detection and mitigation, while using an agentless technology and without any anomaly or signature-based technology.